Good morning. It's Thursday, January 8th, and we are continuing our work on the 46 Garwood. Where we left off yesterday, John had removed the bottom plank from the transom. And in this report, we will follow through removing the rest of the bottom planking and see what we find behind. I'm pulling the bottom board off that most of the screws are exposed and most of them you can just take a screwdriver and they're still loose. So, I mean, any one of them you can tighten them up half of a turn. That one's completely failed. And a lot of them are exposed and they really not really even holding very much. So on point of fact, so we should, we should take, release both of those boards too. We should too. release the boards and at least change the fasteners in the boards. Yeah. And while they're off, maybe even put the two hundred them back on. Yeah. Replacing the bottom board is not as big an issue in this case uh, because most of it's going to be painted. Most of it's beneath the water line, so it will be painted up to. I believe there's a. Uh, about two inches, two and a half inches exposed. And so we don't face a huge problem of, of matching grain there. Two and, two and three eighths inch exposed as to be varnished. So that board is, that board, and, and somebody at one time also, John, put in an, a whole extra course of fasteners, and I think that's what pulled it in so tightly. Yes, it is. Along with the hideous trim tabs. Worst idea I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know if we've shared this with you, but evidently at one point in this boat's life, uh, her owners didn't feel she was planing properly. So <laughs> what we discovered up in the nose were a bunch of weightlifting discs and then these spring-loaded trim tabs in the back in an attempt, I guess, to drop the nose uh, and uh, plane better. Uh, and in the process, they reef so much on this bottom plank that that's really distorted. Um, but if we fix that one and then the fasteners are failing in the next two, it won't be long before there's so much movement there that the varnish we put on is going to fail in return, in turn. So, we'll be back to you once we've opened up the entire transom and we'll inspect the boards both on the back side and the front side and uh, from this side there doesn't appear to be any rot in the plank, those two planks themselves. The plank looks good, it's just the fasteners I believe are yeah. a problem. We have a little bit of a chip in the wood there but we can, just, we can fix that. But the transom on this boat, even though the top sides are painted white, the transom is, is finished bright. So we really want to save those, those two planks. They're original, uh, they have nicely matching grain, and we should be able to make them just exquisitely beautiful. And once the fasteners are off, the boards just fall off because there's nothing holding them. Yeah. So we'll be back Here's to you. what we face trying to remove all the fasteners in a There. Now we've got all three transom boards off. And what you will see right here is a bunch of screw heads that are nice and pretty, all green. Mind you, those boards came off the transom above, well above the water line. That last one was the, the top board. So this transom has had water running through it extensively. The good news is it looks like the framing, John, is uh, the framing is in really sound. Good shape. Yep. Real good shape. The only thing we got here is a little split right there. We'll put some 5200 in it or epoxy in it just to fix that crack. But 
The oak itself is really sound all the way through. Yeah, everything is real good. We'll fill all those fastener holes with toothpicks and Gorilla Glue. I think we can save those two planks, John. We're just going to have yeah. to replace the one. Right, right. One below, one below, one below, one below. So it's been a long day with uh, Ms. Garwood, but uh, at the end of it, we've got the bottom planking finished, we've got the transom stripped, and now we'll clean the back sides of these off uh, with the paint that has soaked in and the grease and the dirt. Uh, John, I think you'll agree that we can't put CPS on the inside of these. Maybe, maybe here where we've got some raw wood. After we clean them. Yep. Yep. And then we will bilge paint them. We will clean this framing extensively, aggressively, uh, and then we can CPS it and bilge paint it. Once we put these boards back on, bedded in 3M5200, we're going to have an absolutely watertight, super strong transom, which is what we were after. So next, we'll be removing the first two planks uh, above the chine on each side and removing and replacing the plank that we talked about a couple of reports ago that is so badly dry rotted in one spot. Now that's the update for Wednesday, January 8th. We'll be back to you soon.